<sighs> Today we're going to tackle Stapaliads or Aslia Pedea. I don't know how to pronounce it. But they're usually Stapalias and Wernias and um, Orbeas. These are not Orbeas, but I just want to show you these guys. Um, this is my my red Stapalia. It bloomed yesterday, but I wasn't going to film yesterday. Let me bring it up to you guys. All right, this guy's real heavy. Let's see if you can see there. There used to be some maggots on there. See the little white stuff, the little white grains of rice? Those are maggots. And this guy smells very, very horrible. And in this pot, I have two plants. I have this, that was gross. In this pot, I have two plants. I have the Stapalia grandiflora, which I think it's that. I'm not really sure. And I have this Wernia, um, I have this Wernia zebrina. And um, both of them were two little sticks. Since it's in the sun full time, it looks like crap. Um, it turns purple to as a, a sun uh, protection from the sun. And as you can see the new growth in here, in, in here somewhere, it is nice and green. Don't know if you guys can see that, but there's that. So I wouldn't really call that a healthy plant. It's doing its thing. The flower should be a lot bigger but um, because it's in the sun full time, it's really not doing what it can do. This guy blooms for me a couple of times a year. The Zebrina, the Wernia Zebrina has not bloomed. This is, I had it right there, but I believe that it is because it is very small. It's still a very young, young plant. This pot's not within like a year old or so. They were all, sing they were all single cuttings. Now, like I said, this, it's not, healthy it's very wooded out but it'll still grow and it'll still bloom for you let me show you guys a healthy example of a stapalia grandi or whatever this all right this guy make sure it was very healthy when i picked them up they're gonna go um they're gonna get mellowed out pretty soon one's going to canada and the other one's going to i'm not sure i'm gonna i got into a a trade with the root exchange lady on Instagram for some some I forgot what it's called like zero genus or something some plant that gives perfect little circle leaves it's like a vine I can't find it anywhere here so she has it up for trades I said I'll give you some really nice stuff so I'm gonna take her a couple of things this is Onorbea and this guy has been overwatered because it was under some of my orchids and um, these guys don't like no matter how um fast draining the soil is the thing is that if the roots are wet overnight it's going to rot out some and it usually rots out in the center like this is all nice nice and happy but the center parts already rotted out you see how they shriveled up on the insides the good part is that it's already rooting so you could go ahead and replant that and it'll be fine but again like i said it is all this this other piece too this is all gone and yesterday i found one of my big orbeas it was in a pot and i had it down here and it wasn't in the sun but it got rained on and i didn't realize that it was in a tray so the entire thing started to rot so i went ahead and took off all the soil and i'm letting the roots completely dry out they can recover this way I did not know that I've lost several plants this way. Like this one just fell apart. You can see this is all rotting right here. This is this is like this piece just fell off of it. It's this is very bad. This is very bad. Look, this tip is gone. These these all of this looks like it has bites coming out of it. And this was a mass, this was all one plant. It was in a big pot. Oh no, look, this the buds are even even melted off. I don't know if you could see that right there. There you see that it's just that sucks but i don't even know what color the flowers are and all, all of this look look this is just one enormous plant the good thing is i did not lose the entire thing it is very salvageable and it will recover these plants are very very hardy i don't, I don't care what anybody says they're very very hardy another thing my dog, 
trampled on my Huria. Huria is not a stapeliad, but it's in the same Aslia Piedicida family. And he just took this guy out and it had like some flowers in the tips and they got knocked out. And I am very disappointed, but I have several of these. But again, it's okay for you to leave them bare root for a while, especially these guys. They come from the deserts where it's super hot and they will, they do much better bare root than submerged with wet roots. And also I just picked up some Edith Colia, Edith Colia Grandiflora. Grandiflora. This guy, I've lost several plants already and I even bought one that is not in good shape, but I bought it because in case I recover it, you know, I'll have two plants instead of just one small plant. But this is him. He is gorgeous. This is what they call the Persian rug. It gives really big starship star. It gives really big starfish flowers that have like a Persian rug print. Very beautiful golds and yellows and browns. And um, the grower that was growing it for me, um, they also kind of over watered it and rotted it out because there's pieces of dead Edith Colia in here, like little chunks. Like look at this. This was a whole branch system. I lost mine over the winter. I had them out here on the windowsill and it rained and I didn't think much of it, but that night was really cold. The next day I found it like this, like with patches and kind of like getting gooey. And that same day, it just completely melted. It didn't even give me a chance to take it out of the, the, the container. And the grower told me too, whenever that happens, take it out of the container and let it sit in the sun for a while. Even if it shrivels up, it'll still recover. So I picked this one up and this one that is very, very badly sunburned. Let me, I'm gonna show you. Well, let me see if I can get up there. Oh my goodness, look at the, you see that? Whoa, sunlight. It is just bad. There's some green coming in in there, but this guy is very jacked up. And here's this one, this is nice and healthy. And I had them both right here under the, the sun shade, the sun cloth, shade cloth. And this one is growing since I bought it. I took pictures and there's brand new little growths in there. I'm really excited because this is like a plant that I've been wanting for a couple of years and I haven't had one. I've never had one bloom before and now with this shade cloth and experimental soil that I'm using. I'm hoping this year is the year or next season. I think it's too late for them here. Or I don't know, I might get some blooms in the summer. I, I don't know how these guys really work, honestly. Now, I was gonna show you something else. Oh, let me show you a dehydrated plant. This guy. I got this guy from, well, I'm gonna take this off. You don't need to see that. I got this guy from an eBay seller and um, it came, that's how it came. It should be like this. This is how I'm bringing it back and this is how it's not supposed to be. This is almost the same plant as this. So it was cheap and packaged poorly. So I'm hoping, look, look. I don't know what he used as soil, sucks. The thing is that I don't have enough bricks to put it in my, my Sepalia planter. I, I need to fill up this little area more and I'll have more places for these guys and many other ones that I have over there. And so, yeah, I don't have room on the brick planter yet. I am not done with it. I need to go pick up another couple of cinder blocks. I'm also going to move this more forward because it's hard for me to pass by. This is actually the way to the backyard. And it's hard for me to pass by without stepping on some of these. And I don't want to put some plants there that are going to be stepped on. So before I throw them on there, I'm going to have to redo a lot of stuff here. And especially how the camera is mounted up. It's on a tripod right now. If you guys have some of these, make sure they're not inside your house or near a window. I actually have one by the window. This is the same plant. And... Um, the flowers are bad. So when it opens up and the windows open, the whole scent goes in there. I don't care, I don't sleep there. So that's it.
um, go ahead and give you the thumbs up rate and comment subscribe share do whatever you need to do okay thanks till next time